Skull and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Expeditions Viking on insane difficulty on the Eric Blood X um, difficulty. In the last episode we had the funeral for our father Ragnar, um, we were attacked by some sons, uh, by some farmer sons um, whose father has a feud or had a feud with our father um, and uh, we killed those guys, we killed all those sons. And then we were challenged by Aslaif of Grimwaldersson to a duel for the title of Thane. We won that um, We won that duel and now he's sworn fealty to us and is our is our Huskarl. Which is pretty good. I think um, our Dane Axe build is definitely paying off. We've got some, we got some skill points um, that we can spend. Yeah, go away. Um, Aslaifer, he does have a sword, a single edged sword and a willow bow and some armor of his own. Um, he also has a pine shield. I think I'm gonna give him my shield, so he's. Um, it does have a little less absorption, but more block chance and more physical resistance. So that's good. Have that. Um, and then Kettle, he has that bow. I could just give him my old bow, which actually does have more more damage and more critical modifier. So let's do that. We're not gonna use that bow. We just have the Dane axe and the cured armor. Which is giving us a fair amount of damage reduction. I'm pretty happy about that. And she just has her spear and her knife. And uh, what we can do is we've got some skill points here. Go away. And uh, we don't gain any new stats, but we gain skill points. Um, she has 15. Um, currently, we could actually upgrade her spear ability. Go away. Um, for 12 points and give her the spear rank 3, which uh, also increases her damage by 10. And gives her the smack. Uh, smack an adjacent target for 50% damage, making them concussed. And then take one step back without incurring attack of opportunity. That gets her out of um, dangerous situations, which is pretty good. So let's do that. Um, he's peaceful. These two are aggressive. So depending on what choices you make, these guys are going to be happy or not happy with you. He's cunning, um, greedy, optimistic. He's aggressive, conceited, cooperative, pessimistic. She's aggressive, honorable, skeptical, independent. I am uh, what I decide that we are. I have 29 skill points. Let's let's upgrade the Danax, increase our damage with the Danax um, a little bit. He doesn't have enough points. Um, when I have enough points, I'm gonna give him the charge as well, make him a little bit more useful that way. I um, think that's a good idea. And uh, I leveled up her and he, I want him to get the next level in bows because that'll give him the aimed shot, negates distance penalties to hit chance, grants a 5% uh, point bonus to critical hit chance. That's really good. Um, we currently don't have that. Uh, we need 15 points. He has 14, so that's out of our reach. But yeah, enough of me waffling on. Let's save it. Um, we've got to return, roll back to our homestead from the Holmgang Island. And then I think we've got to deal with the with the farmer that sent his sons against us. A short boat ride is as uneventful as the trip out. Hongong Island is clearly visible from the shore outside Skjern. You return victorious. Nafia secures her shield on her back. I'm glad that's dealt with. What's next? Well, I have to do something about Erling Thorgelson. As long as he lives, his family poses a threat. We're out there immediately. All right. Um, we've got to go there. We've got to travel there. Um... And then we've got to decide what we're going to do with him. If we're just going to straight up kill him, we could also try to exile him. A couple of options. All right, um, this is the map where you do all your traveling, actually. This is the, the Denmark map. Um, we don't have a lot of um, areas where we can travel to, but the basic gist of it is to click on the icon. It shows you the, tr the road that you take, the travel route, and then... Uh, the next click sort of um, sets sets the whole thing in motion. Um, you can camp. We're gonna get to that once we have to go for longer travels. Currently, we're just gonna move to Ellinger's farm, which is shown as a new location over here. So let's move it. Let's move to Skjern. Uh, we're gonna take Aslifer with us. You can have five herdmen with you, max. Um, so six people all in all. Let's go for this. Let's take everyone that we have. You stop your horse on the outskirts of Erling Thorgerson's homestead. Smoke rises lazily from the roof of the largest building. Thralls are going about their business in the field. So far it looks like nobody has noticed your arrival. Let's continue. Kettle takes a deep breath. 
Here we are. I do hope this pans out better than we expect. Nafia surveys the scene with a thoughtful expression. There are more thralls here than I remembered. They're poorly armed, but they'll defend their master if it comes to that. Surprise attack would give us a strong advantage. We might circle around the back and set fire to the house. A sound plan, but I would hate to bring such a death to Ellinger. He may be a bitter old bastard, but he deserves the chance to die with honor. Um... We'll let him know we're here. He gets a chance to defend himself. Good. An honest fight would send a stronger signal. We're more than a match for that stubborn old goat anyway, even with all his thralls. Alright, let's just save it. I'm still of two minds um, in dealing. Alingar, the Thane is here. He brought his Huskars. Go inside. An old man stands in front of his farmhouse. You know him, but not well. His family has always stuck to the outskirts, never happy to call your father their thane. In his youth he built this house by himself. Now he is grey of hair and his skin is lined with wrinkles, and he still stands proud as the patriarch of his homestead. Um, he begins to speak and immediately breaks into a fit of deep throaty coughs. When he recovers, his voice quivers with emotion. You've killed my sons and ended my line! There is no one here besides myself, my daughter, and the wives of my sons. Leave! Just leave us to our grief! Your sons violated the peace of Ragnar's funeral. They may have been drunk, but you turned them against us and riled them up. No, it was an act of youthful foolishness, that's all. You have nothing more to fear from our family, I swear it. Aslifer mutters disdainfully. Horse shit. I can't spare him just like that. I have to either I have to either kill him or exile him. Um I cannot suffer your presence after this. You're hereby exiled from the clan. Leave by dawn tomorrow or you will be executed. I'm gonna give him a way out here. You'd cast me out of my own house? I built this far myself, with my own two hands. Don't reject his judgment, you fool. Don't you see that this is a mercy in light of what you've done? Ellinger spits. And who will take ownership of my farm? You, nephew? I would rather die than see this farm wither in someone else's hands. Now, I'm pretty sure I could talk some sense into him with my, yeah, high sense. <laughs> um, but at this point I don't really think that's a thing anymore I've given him an out he did not take it and honestly he seems like the man who's really gonna hold a grudge so if I exile him later he might, I don't know, put a viper in my bed um, once I come back and if we're actually gonna go on an expedition somewhere then um, I really don't want to leave a loose end behind. So as evil as it may sound, he started it. And his sort of rejection of my of my judgment for um what his sons did and what he I mean he's he's their father. He has some um some responsibility for their actions actually. Um So I think it was fair to offer him uh the exile, but if he's not going to take it I gotta kill him. That makes no sense to talk to talk um, that stuff into him. Even if we would succeed, I don't want to leave him in my back. That works for me. And we're gonna we're gonna kill. We're not gonna fool around here. So let's just charge the guy. Well, actually, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna bring. Aslifer up on his back and then I can charge him from the front oh yeah wait I've got six remaining enemies I got Aslifer in his back I got myself in the front and uh, we're actually gonna charge him with the Dane axe flanking, flanking him in the process and he blocked all the 98 damage holy cow that's shit <laughs> I did not expect that, but oh well. Um, let's go for a quick shot here. 
70% chance to hit. That's good enough for me. Yep, well done. And another one. Did you see that hit? Yep. He's down. Well done, Keto. Very well done. And then we got you. I'm gonna bring Nephew up. And I think we'll just go with the spear here. Okay. At least she hit. His shield is, is gone now, though. So I think that's fine. Let's just end the turn. Okay, there's a, there's a woman. Is she a thrall? There's another woman. I think these poorly clothed people are thralls. He's actually moving away. <laughs> that's not going to help him. So, what are these guys? Untrained civilian. What are you? Are you a thrall? A uh, untrained civilian. Lakeney. Untrained civilian. Yeah. Well, he's got to die. Actually. And send you over. Give him at least one hit. And then we can charge him to death. Come on. Go by. That's you done for. You on the other hand. Well, let's see what we can do. 65%. 60%. Uh, she's closer, so we have a higher chance to hit. Do it. Yep, very nice. Very nice. And another one. Come on. Yes! Well done. And then we got Nephia. I don't really want to kill her. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to kill the others. Doesn't make any sense. I have no beef with them. End the turn. Oh, you're running away. Very clever. Right. Let's attack you. There's more where that from critical hit that's nice and then let's finish the guy you're down move you over that's good and then we've got cattle can actually go for a quick shot maybe we'll take that guy else out okay one shot and a second one come on you're doing really well cattle that quick shot did nothing for me um, in the Let's Try series, but now it's actually hitting fairly well. Okay, we're running over here. We still got her. Okay, he's done for. Yeah, let me run over here. Oh, and I slipped. <laughs> yeah, I really don't have the finesse to actually survive such a patch. That's really not good. Um, let me run over here. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> we slipped again. All right. Come on. Yeah, that was... That was not good. Is she gonna come at me? No, she's not. I wonder, and I can just not charge her. Okay. I'm gonna see what she does. Ah, oh, she's gonna run away further. She's just out of range. Yeah, I knows where my range ends. So... That's pretty annoying. Yeah, I guess I have to move right next to her. She's always gonna run away. God damn it. What nonsense. Stand and fight. Or give up. <laughs> right, okay. 
That's your end. Nope, it isn't. Interesting. All right. Okay, hit me. And she down. <laughs> Good. Victory. Um, no injuries. No, no weapon degradation. That went well. The fight is over and the silence is deafening. Erlinger is still alive. He struggles to raise himself from the ground. I'm gonna put the helmet away. Um, you win, son of Ragnar. I will leave with my family. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let him get away now. Exile was a mercy you threw away when you attacked me. My aggressive followers have gained morale. My peaceful followers have lost morale. Oh well, can't please everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. This had to end this way. Kata stares at Erlinger's corpse. Stubborn old fool. Had to be done. Erlinger's death ties up a very old loose end. He's been sowing discord among the clan for years. Things will be easier now he's dead. Aslifer snaps angrily. Please don't talk about him that way. I wonder why he likes them. Oh, and clansmen now love me. Erlinger's wife Hjordis walks up to you, back straight, and looks you straight in the eyes. You can tell she's been crying, but her voice is strong. You, you got your justice. What shall become of the girls and I? You must leave. You have a week to prepare. Hjordis doesn't answer. She holds your gaze for a long moment, then she simply nods, turns around and walks back to break the news to her daughter and her daughter-in-law. You have to decide who should take over the farm. The blonde warrior clenches his fists. Let his corpse cool before we start bickering over his property. Right, we should head back home. I want to look around before we leave. Maybe loot, um, loot our enemies, see what they have. A hay fork, great. Um, uh, hoe and some grease. Yeah, we've got a bunch of resources that we can use for crafting and uh, for building stuff. Um, powder, let's take that. Um, oh, can't get at that at that thing. Oh yeah, poison, nice. <laughs> and wood. Wood is a good uh, is a good thing to have because it's uh, it's a material. Um, let's take some herbs. There's a crate over here. Um, oh, fir shield. That's good. Made from a fir cut down in its prime. The shield is tougher than its pine counterparts without adding too much weight. Great. Very good. What's that? This looks like a small grave about the size of a fully grown dog. All right. Let's um, go for those herbs. There's something over here. Hmm. This is showing us something, but I can't click it. I wonder... Yeah, well then. Suit yourself. Um let's take this stuff. We're gonna we're gonna need all this, especially if we if we play on um since we play on insane. We're gonna want all this stuff. Um the old farmhouse of Erlinger's family has been allowed to fall completely into ruin since they moved into the new one. Okay, there's something. Trash pile, we got some hardened leather. Armor smithing schematic. Using hardened leather to craft armor makes it resistant to fire. Alright. Nice. I'm actually a bit sad that we couldn't go for that other pile. Okay, this one's empty. There's more stuff around here, though. I think these give some skill points. Yes, we received one skill point. Perfect. What's this? A pit trap and a narrow sax. Long single-edged blade, just short enough to qualify as a knife, but long enough to do some serious damage. Yeah, these sax weapons are not to be underestimated. Okay, there's something over here. There was also something over there. Another one of these piles of rubble. Nothing. Okay, fine. There's an M4. No, come on. It's showing us something, but there's nothing in there, I guess. Not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Um, some cloth. 
some some powder. Come on. Oh, really? <laughs> we can't we can't reach that that place apparently. All right then. No, it is showing us something, but apparently I can't get it. Some cork, some meat. Take that. We need to eat something. Um, nothing to plunder in these things. Anything over here? No. Nope. Oh yeah, there's something. We can get leather from that thing. Just gotta move the screen around. Come on, gather that leather. Yeah, we picked up a wolf hide. Um, and the thing is, you can't really buy um, weapons um, as far as I've uh, seen. You have to go to a smith and actually have your stuff um, specifically crafted, which is interesting. What do you have? A saw. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's move home. Three days later. You wake in the early morning to the sound of running feet and panicked shouting. Someone pounds on your door so rapidly and so furiously you can hear the hinges creak. The muffled voice belongs to Kweldulfur the smith. Thorgrim! Rurik Astrudr! Are you in there? We're under attack! It's raiders from the sea! Your brother and your mother are scrambling out of their beds, rubbing the sleep from their eyes and shaking the confusion from their heads. I'm gonna don my armor and my weapons. You grab the most essential equipment and throw on your clothes. Outside a fire roars to life and the sounds of steel clashing and crashing against steel reaches you from the direction of the coast. All right, um, I think uh, I gained some skill points. So I actually wanna wanna upgrade my my Danax ability here to the max. Yeah, nice. So now we have the maximum damage that we can get out. I mean, there are better Danaxes than this, although it's pretty okay. Um, I like it. Uh, we've got the fur shield. Actually, should give that to him at some point. Should have done that at the end of the last thing, but oh well. <laughs> as far as I see it, there's no um, no real limit to how much stuff you can carry, which I like. I actually, stamina. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's fine. I'm pretty happy if you have unlimited inventory. Just don't make any sense to have that, especially if you um, um, if you already have a band of people that can carry stuff. So let's talk with these guys. Hello, keep mother safe. Please take care of uh, yourself out there. Um, go find Kettle and Nephia. We'll bar the door until it's safe. All right then, let's save it and let's move out. We've got our trusted Danex, and we're now um, armed and ready. Cattle <laughs> almost runs straight into you as you step outside. He has a wild look in his eyes. You're awake! You bet your ass I'm awake. Where are the others? Nephia is holding the bridge. Earthlifer went to reinforce the north entrance. Why, the beacon's not lit? A look of grim realization comes over him. No, they weren't. Let's send these Bikyu Sonar back where they came from. Lead the way. Okay, so we can either help Asleifer defend the northern gate or Nephia defend the bridge to the south. And I think we're going to help Nephia first. Um, I do trust Asleifer a little bit more that he can hold his own. Even though Nephia, Nephia is great, Asleifer is yeah, sort of my second in command, I'd say. So let's save it and let's move down south. Come on. Okay, so we got a bunch of raiders. There's actually a lot of them. Uh, five. I think it's six. Six raiders. Okay, they're coming towards us. Yeah, there's a sixth. Let's see what they can do. Oh, yeah, right. Helmet is what we need. I mean, they're lining up nicely. <laughs> they're lining up very nicely. Well, the question is, ensure that no enemies reach the highlighted area. This area, okay. Hmm. I wonder, might be better to 
to let them come over the bridge where they have to funnel in instead of running over and attacking them that might be because this way we we're using our advantage i think that's a good idea actually um is there any sort of cover no there isn't there's half cover over here let's bring cattle over so that we got our two archers in the area actually i had i should have pulled this guy out because he's our healer um Right, that's a no-go though now. Let's pull her back. Well, that's some cover to be had over there, but that's a long way off. Let's pull you over. I'm gonna have me just over here and Quidolfer over here. I think that's fine. We could try to shoot them. 8%, 0%, 5%. Well, it doesn't really hurt. We don't have an ammunition count, so. And another one. Come on. Nope. Wasn't very likely, so I guess I'm fine with it. Okay, that's a miss. That's a long range to be fighting like that. Well, I guess I can't drink anything with my helm on. <laughs> okay, missed. <laughs> He's like, hey, come at me. I guess that's fine. You're in cover now. I wonder why they... Why they... Um, when did it like that? Odd. Hmm. If I move over here, I can still attack this guy. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's go for a normal swing instead of a reckless swing. Might be the better option. Nephew. Well, let's see what he can do. He can actually move up. That's good. Do you have a charge? We have a charge. Nice. <laughs> charge. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, that works, at least for me. Hmm, 45% chance to hit with two shots. That's fine. Okay, yeah, very good. Um, what about you? Quick shot, you won't be as good. 38%. Um, how far can the demoralize go? Okay, they're all demoralized. That's good. Nice. I like it. And we've got her. We're gonna bring her over. I'm gonna I'm expecting them to to move um to move on. Now in their demoralized state, they won't really be able to hit for much. He's running a long way. To get his shot off. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, now, should we just kill her? Maybe with Nephia. What's that? Smack. Oh yeah, right. Well, let's see if we can't if she can't get a crit off. Yes. Very nice. Good. That's that's fun. Um, if I go for a charge, yeah, the guy will just not die. If I charge with you, he will also not die. Right, we gotta take out their healer. It's kind of odd that they're sending their healer into the front uh, lines. Makes no sense. But I take it. Why not? Go by. Let's move up one. 
Now, Kettle. Let's go for the let's go for the for the straight shots here. Twenty five percent, twenty five percent. I mean, I guess I gotta take it. Um, actually, could go for a ranging shot here. Sort of spot them, give us a bit of a better accuracy chance. Yep, nice. Actually, I should have done that with my other dude. Um, oh, you. Oh, well, was that a free action? Interesting. Right. Okay. So now we've got a bit of a better shot chance. Still don't have the uh, the aimed shot, which would be really good here. But I guess we've got to live with it. And a second one. 35%. It's not, it's not horrible. And then uh, we got you. Is anyone hurt? Yeah, you're a bit hurt, Kudolfil. But I think that's fine. Poison... Oh yeah, that's that's something that we need to be in range. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what what is this? Interrupt. Postpone a range attack until you have at least seventy five percent chance to hit an enemy. That's sort of to prevent them from coming close. I think we'll just try to take them out if we can. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Can't expect that to happen a second time, but can try. Nope, we got missed. No, we missed. Fine then. Um, you can move up one, so we'll actually do it. And you can move up a bunch, so we'll do that as well. We're gonna uh, take the fight to them. Um, it's fine. Okay, and that archer is coming close to us. Let's see what he can do. I'm Harry now. Ranging shot. Okay, spotting all of us. Which isn't great. Um... Should I go for this? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Bring that charge. Oh, right. And she's interrupting me. Oh, I took 42 damage. That's not great. Okay. And I dealt 81 damage, which is definitely great. Let's go. Knock that fool out. Another interrupted um, shot. He might go down, which is not good. Okay, he's out though. So let's move up. Um, Nephia, let's move up. Do you have a bow? I mean, I guess I could give her a bow as a second option. Yeah, we can't move past them. I have an increased shot chance from here. Let's try it. If I can even take out one of them, it's gonna be worth it. Yes, okay, good. And another one. These range shots aren't great, but... Uh, problem is that I can't move him out of here to heal Quidulfer. But I think I'm going to bring him back. Um, I think that's the long and the short of the matter. Uh, let's demoralize them so they don't hit us as easily. Oh, sorry. That was my... Um, one of my timers. Um, right, I can't really do anything with her. Let's just end the turn. Oh yeah, he's nearly down. That's not good. Yeah, they missed. You're moving on. You're in cover now. Come on, miss. <laughs> and he's like, hey, come at me. Can't do nothing to me. <laughs> I like it. Um, should we go for the reckless strike here? Yeah, let's try to do that. Um, let's do this. Oh, that nearly killed her, actually. can just kill her now with a normal hit uh, without losing my points. That's good. Um, and I'll actually have my guy move forward. And I think I'll bring Nefia right behind him, which is good. And then, Quadulfer, we're actually gonna bring you way back. Oh, god damn it. My phone is dying. Everything is against me now. Um, so, we got you over here. We're gonna bring Cattle 1 over. Um, which just gives us a normal shot against these guys. Oh well. Hit percentage is pretty good. Okay. 
He's harried. Um, let's bring you over. I want to restore him. So that he doesn't go down. That's something at least. And now we can only move with him. No. Yeah. Fine, actually. I'm going to bring him forward to maybe heal me as well. Yeah, right. Okay. Went fairly well so far. Still got one guy in the back, but I think he's the healer slash morale guy. Okay, missed. Crap! I'm incapacitated now. That could have gone better. That could definitely have gone better. Um, and the longer my guys... Oh, and I, I sustained a light puncture to my leg. That's not good. Um, let's take her out. Oh, we only have 10% hit chance. Come on, try again. Nope. Not having it. Well, we can send you into battle again. Um, let's bring you... Let's heal him up further. Guess I should have sent the healer in for close range support. Might actually not be a bad idea to make Nephia into a healer person. Because um, she's always in the second row. Kill that guy. Yep. She's down. And that's about all I can do, really. The longer I'm down, the higher the um, probability that I'm going to sustain more injuries. So I really should get this over rather quickly, if I can. If I possibly can. 65% mm, hit chance like that. If I go for a quick shot, we're going to have... Oh, 65% chance as well. All right, then. I mean, he's standing right next to the to the spotted thing. So I guess that's fair. Take him out. Nope. Miss. Crap. Well, what can you do? Um, we're going to make sure that you're out, though. 95%. Yep. Yeah, he's down. That's good. And then we've got Quidulfer. And we're going to go and charge... Charge! Yep, that's how you do it. Huge amount of damage. And then we're going to take you out. Okay, basically, we won this in the next turn, so things aren't too bad. Let's take off the helmet. So I got a light puncture in my leg. Um, can happen. Can happen. Could be better if I... It would be better if I didn't have it, but oh well, what can you do? The last of the Norwegians hits the mud, and you allow yourself to pause for a moment to take stock of the outcome. Nephia wiped some blood off her blade. I'm glad you got here so soon. These raiders know how to fight. You turn back towards the village to see Lyotr running towards you out of the smoke that now engulfs the entire area. You're still alive! The others are still holding off the attack at the northern gate. If you hurry, you might be able to rout the raiders there. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we've got Nephia now. Um, I will also try to actually loot these guys. If they're already here, I might raid them instead of them raiding me. Oh, we're getting a single-edged sword. That's nice. And a pine shield. Let's take it. Um, these guys, I guess, are going to stay here to defend. Gain some medicine. And nothing from over there. That's something to be to be looted though. So medicine. Oh yeah, I guess from the fight against the against the suns. And I can't take it. Crap. Well, no time to go looting now. <laughs> um, right. Can I upgrade any of these guys? Do anything good to them? Um, she doesn't have a bow currently. Maybe I should just give her a sword. Yeah, won't really help her. Um, she's pretty low in terms of strength. She won't be really able to make much use of a sword. I think the knife is actually a good weapon for her in the in the offhand. Um, what is that? A wobbly blade of the saw. Ah, can be wielded like a sword, so it's a sword type of weapon. I don't want that. 
All right. Um, you're fine. You got the good bow. And I'm okay-ish. So what does that do? I got a light puncture on my leg. Light puncture reduces my movement. Yeah, I can live with it. I can live with it. Um, let's save it. And let's move up north. Still more work to do. Come on. Okay. Let's get ready for this. Okay, she activated Demoralize. Um, yeah, and here I am with my light puncture. <laughs> Let's come up to here, actually. Oh no, I can't go there. Fine then. Let's come up to here. We have three enemies currently, but we're gonna have two more waves. One in two turns, one in five turns. All right. I see how it is. Um, can't tell we've got to place you at a point where you can actually do some damage. So maybe over here. Bring you way up. And then uh, we've got Aslifer right next to one of these guys holding his own, I think. I mean, I could push him away, and we got also Helmfrieder Kraxen, who is an axe guy, I think, with 130 hit points. Dude, you're really tanky. Um, we don't have the we don't have the normal attack though. We only have the hook and slash. Let's throw a rock at him to make him harried, and then we're actually gonna. Go for the hook and slash. Which is um, one attack that always hits the shield and the other hits the guy. Okay, yeah, that was... I mean, it could have, could have gone better, but what can you do? Um, should we stun him? Actually, I should have done this earlier. Let's flank him now. And that's that. And then we got Nephia, who we're gonna bring right up. Bring her up. And we got you, um, the Huntress. Let's go for a quick shot. Take that guy right out. He can't block. Oh, and we missed. Perfect. Perfect. And another miss. <laughs> I thought you were the Huntress. I thought you were good. Hmm. Actually, now that I come to think of it, I could get really close to that healer. It's a possibility, but he'll be out there on his own when the enemy reinforcements arrive, so... I don't think it's a good idea. Well, bring me up. My movement is reduced, so... Gotta do something there. Oh, and she's being attacked. That's not good. Got the healer attacking us. Oh, and she took a lot of damage there. That's not good. Um, I wonder if I can't go for an aimed shot against her. No, she's in cover. Crap. Well, I can go for some fast shots against this guy. He's gonna have a really bad day here. Okay, he blocked the first shot. Uh, he took the second one though. And let's do the same with Ketil. Another block. Come on. Hit the guy. Yes. Very good. Now let's try if I can't take him out with the charge. I can actually. Charge! Goodbye. That's how it goes. Um, can't move over there? Well, I gotta stay in cover though. Um... Let's go and attack this guy with Nephia. And then I'm gonna move her into cover. Oh, there, that's a patch of ice. Gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. Um, if I can take this guy out, I, I gotta use you first, I guess. He's flanked. Critical hit. That's good. Uh, let's use Helmfrieder Kraxon. Um, 
can throw a rock. This guy is going to give me an attack of opportunity, I think. If I throw a rock like that on him, at him. I'm not sure, actually. Let's try it, just for the sake of it. He's harried. No, it actually didn't change anything here. Alright then, let's go for a hook and slash. I can't. Yeah, because his shield is already down. Okay, fine then. Let's just attack him like that. He's nearly down. But he's not quite there. Crap. Alright. And there are the reinforcements. Hmm. He's repaired his shield, the bastard. And we've got a spear guy coming. He resisted the stun though, that's good. Hmm. And she's activating the demoralize again, which is not going to help the accuracy of our archers. Right, well, gotta go and remove that guy, that's for certain. Okay, that did something. Um, Nefia, we gotta... Actually, I can kill this guy, which is good. Right. Fine. Then we're gonna use you to flank the other dude. Okay, he's flanked now. And... Yeah, let's throw a rock at him. It's a free action, so why not? And then we're just gonna hit him. Good. Um, then we got you. I'm gonna try to hit this guy. Let's hope that he doesn't block again. No, he blocked. All right, that's just my luck. Fine though. And we missed one. I should stun the guy. Yeah, he's stunned. Which means that I could get close to the archer over there. Which I think I will. So that he can't just shoot with impunity. And he also cannot heal the guy. Which is good. Um, we still got you. He is in cover. So that doesn't help us. He's flanked. We only have a 27% chance to hit. Oh yeah, that's because of the demoralized um, thingy. I'll actually take the two quick shots over the other thing. I wonder how I can counter the demoralized. Um, maybe I can lift my morale with something. Or maybe I just have to improve the mental the mental capacity of people. Yeah, he's done. I think that's f this is fine. I can't do anything more. Yeah, he's going for the demoralize instead of actually doing something here. I'm getting attacked. But it's not a problem for us life, but he can actually hold out. It's fine. Alright. Um, let's have you... Hit the guy again. It's a free action. Might as well do it every turn. And let's go for the hook and slash. Shield attack. Normal attack. Let's use Nephia. Step the guy down. Good. Then we'll use the charge on me. Oh, I can't. No, I can. Right. That's gonna do a lot of damage to him. I like it. Let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. That's how you do it. Um, 10% chance to hit. That's nothing. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> if I switch to the knife. What's the death blow do? Deals double damage but can only target immobilized enemies. Hmm. What can you do? Can you do an aim shot? 72% chance to hit. Yeah, that's good. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Come on. Even though you're demoralized. Yup. Egon. He gone. Very nice. How far can I go? Only one more. Okay. 
It's a shame. Oslifer, what can you do? Yeah, these two healers are going to heal each other up again and again. Hit her. Okay, so that's going to take his action. He's going to heal her up again. We'll have enemy reinforcements in two more turns. God damn it. Um, switch this. I guess I gotta. I guess I gotta spot these guys. That'll at least push them away from that area, which means they either have to take an attack of opportunity or they cannot act. Now let's try it. Five percent. Five percent. Well, it's the only thing that I can do with him, so might as well. We're not gonna hit anything though. Not a thing. Yeah, nothing at all. Fine then. Uh, she's using the Demoralize. Isn't really clever though to not go for the damage dealing option. That's gonna kill this guy for good if I do it correctly. Um, I could actually push him back one. Which will give me more... Yeah, no. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, then. Charge! Goodbye. That's what you get. I'm gonna move you up. And one turn we'll get more enemies. Which is not something that I'm looking forward to. Um, bring you up. So that you have a good shot. 50% chance to hit. Could be better, could be worse. Come on. Yeah, okay, that's something. And then we've got Nephia. And I think we'll actually bring her over here. Mm, yeah, it's not really anything that I can do, so I'll just bring you up there. Um, we've got Cruxon over here. Bring you over. Um, let's throw a stone. It's a free action. I'm thinking about actually skilling my people to m make that kind of stuff happen. Okay, let's go for this. We're very far out by now. Well, this is good. This is actually good. Um, bring you back into cover. Bring you back into cover. I'm actually not that hurt, so... I think that's fine. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, we've got a guy with a Dane Axe. No. Yeah, that hurt. That definitely hurt. Okay, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. What I could do is... I could go for the swipe now. Hmm. These guys are favored by Tyr as well. Ah, let's go for it. What else can I do? <laughs> well, that did a bunch of damage. That's not wrong. Um, what can you do? Can you remove one of these fools? What? How's that going? 77%. That's not too bad. Let's try it. Okay. One shot. And a second shot. Getting very close to actually taking him out. And we missed. Crap. Can you take him out? No, you can't. What about you? Quick shot. 60% chance to hit. Come on. Yes. Very good. So we can definitely kill him with Nephia. That's good. Um, let's try if she doesn't have to waste her attack on this guy. Yes. Very good. I like it. Now, what I'm going to do is... I need Aslifer in the fray. So, what I'll do is I move her over. So that Aslifer can pass. Bring him in. Mm, I'm pretty, pretty far out. I can actually... Well, I could try to do damage. But I could also just kick him back. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Bring you up. Attack the guy. Should be pretty close to actually killing him. 
Come on. Kill him. Yeah, we're not quite there, but we're getting there. Maybe the stone throw will actually do something. Biggest problem is that she might heal him up. That's my worst fear. Oh no, actually, I thought this was blocked, but it isn't. So, this is pretty easy. We're just gonna kill him now. Goodbye. Yep, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. And uh, we're gonna bring him in close range so that she can't shoot. That's perfect then. That's absolutely perfect. Um, the other things are fine. Just gonna let people stand like that. She's gonna attack him, but she can't really do much. Um, now, Aslifer. Um, yeah, I, I can easily reach her with the charge. Um, Aslifer, come on in. Do some attack. I really want the charge for Aslifer. It's gonna be hugely useful um, as soon as we got the as soon as we got the points. All right, let's go for the charge over here. Charge! Yeah, that nearly did it. That nearly did it. And now you. Come on. Yes, goodbye. Very good. Victory! That went well. Alrighty. As the last attacker goes down, a sudden calm falls over your immediate surroundings, which almost makes the battle seem like a distant thing. Aslifer's voice shakes you out of it. I'm glad you got here in time. These bastards are tough, well equipped too. Ours is not the first village they've attacked. Tolfin the carpenter appears from between two houses, his apron encrusted with soot and grime. He sounds short of breath. Oh, my dear boy, I'm so glad you're alive. <laughs> I love Tolfin, he's really fun. The raider's leader is headed towards the longhouse. He snuck another group around the village and got in from the east. Alright, so I guess we gotta confront that guy. I guess. Some of these guys are actually alive still. Didn't make a difference, I guess. Take all the salvage. Oh yeah, they can they give us some valuables, which is good. We can use that to trade or to, to buy stuff. Hello. Let's take some rations. Let's take that pot. Um, cork, string, that's about all they have. Fine then, fine then. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a quick save here. Now, I could actually equip Aslifer better. I uh, should have given him the pine shield a while ago. It is low in durability. It's actually, no wait, where is it? The fur shield is what I wanna give you. Yeah, that does a lot more, a lot more absorption. A little bit more block chance, less physical resistance, but oh well, who cares. Um, the sword is as good as Oh yeah, yours is actually better, I guess. Well, maybe the reduced durability does hurt that a little bit. Got a hoe, we've got the willow bow. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, in terms of leveling, yeah, you've got 20 points now, which means that I can upgrade you. So you now have the aimed shot, that's good. Um, I only have two points. You have 11 points though, so there's a possibility that we can go for the charge. Anything else that we could do with you? Faint. Move to the other side of the target and make the target spend its attack of opportunity. I mean, that's pretty nice, especially for, for setting people up. Um, he has the shield, so in general we want to play a little bit more defensively with him. How's his perception? It's actually not that bad. If we want it, we could go for the throw here. Because this is not a very expensive thing. I haven't been able to actually do anything with the toss. Select a friendly or enemy character and then select a hex adjacent to your own opposition, uh, position to throw them into. Never managed to do that, but oh well. I guess you have to have enemies that are adjacent to you. Um, and But this is pretty nice. Throw an axe. Um, and that is determined by strength and perception. And since he's good at strength and fairly good at perception, I think that would be the, the road to bring him down. But let's go for the charge. It would have proven useful more than once. Plus five damage for every hex you move. So let's go for this. Um, and Nephia, I really don't want you to charge. That's not a good idea. Faint is good. Hmm. I wonder why I didn't use that up until now. Cripple makes a range attack that deals 25 damage but takes away. Yeah, our guy already has that. 
I don't think I can upgrade her spear ability. No, I can't. So I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to upgrade her in any form or fashion. I think things are fine as they are. Come on, guys. Let's deal with Gunnar. Hello. You're halted in your tracks by an apparition. Outside your longhouse stands a man who almost defies description. He's a giant. His fur-lined shirt is barely capable of confining his bulging muscles. He's holding a weapon in each hand, and his stance calls to mind a bull in heat. Gunnar the Peaceful. <laughs> By far his most outstanding feature, however, is his beard. It's the sort of beard you might expect to find adorning the face of a Jotun. Jotun. It looks like a bear crawled onto his chin and died. <laughs> Um, the giant's attention is not on you. Two of his raiders appear out of your longhouse, each carrying a large sack of what you must assume to be your possessions. Well... Just an old woman and a weakling. They offered no resistance. The giant frowns. I trust you didn't harm them. Not a hair out of place on either of the heads, gonna just as you said. Um... We're just gonna attack. There's, there's really no really no need to talk this over. The situation is quite clear. Charge! Uh, he's coming at us, even though we are the ones attacking. That's actually not nice, I gotta say. But oh well. Come at me, guys. Come at me. We'll see how it goes. Got a focus fire gonna. This is gonna be one bad fight for us. One really bad fight. Now, what can we do? What can we do? Can we... I think we've got to stun one of these fools. It does take away the attack action. Which I could use to, to do some damage here. He's going to use his war cry at some point. You can actually see what the enemies can do by going over this. So you can see that he has um, Tyr's favor and he has Baldur's favor. So, yeah. And he did a lot of damage to me already. I gotta be very careful that I... Any character standing on either side of the target. If I could move over here, that would be real good. That would be real good. I actually need to take that passive skill that lets me do that. Um, right. Let's use Kettle to go for a quick shot here. I mean, we have a super high hit chance to do that. Let's do it. Let's focus fire, Gunnar. Let's take him out of the picture, if at all possible. Okay, that's some damage. And some more damage. Come on. Yes, very good. And then let's have... An Asla, that I can't really use. Oh, Nefia is stunned. Right. Well, guess I gotta take him out then. Don't think that the swipe will actually hit the other two, uh, hit the other one. I mean, I could try it, just find find out how it works. I thought they would have to stand here and here, but let's see how that goes. Yeah, it only downed him. The other guy is still here. Fine then. All right. How do I do this? Guess I gotta stand on the back, actually. Um, let's stun him. Yeah, he's out. And I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna engage her like right away, which means that I can flank the other guy actually. Come over, so he's flanked. That's good. And oh yeah, I actually went into her attack range. That's pretty crappy. Okay, let's move out of it again. Just gotta hope that Nefia and Aslifer can take the can take a beating, but that's fine. No, yeah, she went for the extended range. Crap, should have moved further away. Now, um, Kettle, let's go. Let's do some quick shots on this guy. Come on. And one more. Yep, critical hit. Very nice. <laughs> that hurt. Let's use you to do some damage here. And then we're going to use you to do some damage. Come on. 
And then I can go for the swipe this time, I think. And go for it. What? Why did that not hit the guy? Any character standing adjacent to them. This this needed to hit. That must be a bug. Odd. Alright. I could actually take an injury. Perfect. Perfect. This was not necessary. This was wrong. Should not have happened according to the rules of the game. Shoot the guy, come on. Nope, he's not having it. I've been going down in two out of three fights now. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, we won. I have now a light head fracture and I have a light puncture. This is not great. Gunnar fights with the strength of three men, but eventually he falls, as all men do. While you pause to catch your breath, the giant pulls himself up onto his knees. His voice booms despite his injuries. Well, that was rousing. I've been a very it's been a very, very long time since I met anyone who could match me in battle. He shakes his head and grins. I did not expect to find such strong warriors here in this tiny village. I thought you unprotected. I see that I was wrong. I know when I'm beaten, I surrender. Kettle places a hand on your shoulder. We shouldn't kill him, at least not yet. We might be able to get something useful out of him when the dust has settled. Find a safe place and lock him up. Don't leave him unattended. Kettle fetches a few more of your clansmen and they tie Gunnar up with enough knots to pacify a frenzied bull. The huge man makes no effort to resist as they take him away. Clansmen consider me idolized. Okay, they really must like me. <laughs> Uh, we have to check in on Astrid and Rurik, but I I think the the danger is over. Let me just loot these fools. They don't have anything. Okay, fine. Um, I do have to end the episode here, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Next time we'll check in on my brother and my mother, and then we'll find out who actually sent these raiders. Hope you join me for that. Thanks. Bye-bye.